Hola! <clears throat> Sorry. Hola, this is Yellow Star here, and today I am going to be removing my stash. Up here. And I'm just saying it outright because I'm not going to be in denial. There's a bunch of you who are lighter skinned, whether it's like Hispanic, whether you're really tan, and you have dark hair. Well, be aware of this area around the upper lip when you are light skinned and you have darker hair you have sometimes you are prone to getting a little stash because it's not a lot of hair but it you have it can show because it's dark and your hair is light versus people who have light skin and dark hair or dark skin and darker hair it can be concealed a little more than this and know that if you're looking in the mirror and you see the stash, other people can see it too. If you can see it, other people can see it. So it's probably best that you just remove it. Remove all of those insecurities because one time I went to babysit and the little girl, it had, I was, I was letting it go a little bit. I was letting it grow a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. I was just being lazy. And so I went to babysit and she wanted to play with my makeup. And she's like, you have a mustache. So, and I have been noticing it in the mirror, but I was just being in denial. But today is the day to kind of fix it. And there are two different products that I have used to um, remove my stash. One was the Sally Hansen face upper lip removal cream. And that comes with... Um, some type of vitamin E. It comes with the removal cream, but it also comes with the vitamin E that you can put over the top when it's done to kind of help soothe and to calm down your upper lip. I guess it's a little upset that you removed its little fursy coat. And um, that's what I normally use. But recently I was in the store and they did not have the Sally Hansen cream at the store that I was at. So I got this instead, which is the Nair one. Crap, I do not have the right product. Oh, momento, por favor. Here we go, now I have the right product, and that would be the Nair Hair Remover Moisturizing Face Cream. Long lasting results for all hair types, thorough, thorough hair removal for upper lip, chin, and face. This is what it looks like, and maybe I'll flip the camera so you can actually read it. But yeah, I used this. This one does not come with um, a little soothing make your upper lip feel better thing now you're probably asking which do you prefer the Sally Hansen or this I wouldn't mind either I prefer this to because mm -mm, mm -mm, no um I found that this product I I believe in my personal opinion for my skin this one was a little bit stronger. I could tell that it was stronger or maybe it's just because they didn't give me that little warm fuzzy feeling afterwards like to put that lotion on. But I'm sure you could find some vitamin E lotion or something, some aloe um, lotion and put it on top of your lip after this. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, um, I feel that this one was stronger and I do kind of think that the results lasted longer than the Sally Hansen one. Like at, when this one took it off, I was like, whoa because it was it really took it off um but I don't mind the other one either like we'll just have to see I do like how on the other one um this will only be my second time using this I normally use the Sally Hansen one I do like on the other one where it did have the little thing it just made me feel better so then when this one didn't have it I felt kind of weird but I'm going to be using this product again for the second time. I'm not saying, I don't remember how much it is. I would say between six and eight dollars for this one. Same with the Sally Hansen. Um, normally you can find these at places like Target and Walmart and your neighborhood Walmart. I don't remember where I got this one, so I'm sorry. But just check it out. Um, I think that using products like these are a great alternative to getting your upper lip waxed. I've not had a problem like getting burned or scars or ooh, burn my face off. Read the directions. Like, read the directions beforehand and test if you really have sensitive skin, then maybe test a little bit 
like it says, read the directions. Maybe test a little bit on a different part of your skin before you put it on your face. But I have not had a problem with having breaking out into horrible rashes or getting burn marks on my face using any of this stuff. So I continue to use it. And I would recommend giving it a try, at least trying it once. It's way less painful than waxing and it's cheaper because this bottle will last you. Normally the results last for like <clears throat> two to four weeks. It just depends on your hair growth. But that's way cheaper. Spending seven, six, seven, or eight dollars on this versus going to go get waxed. Like this, you can use this multiple times multiple dozens of times whereas you have to keep going and keep paying but whatever you prefer if you would like that a drip feeling that's awesome if that does something for you that does nothing but to me but scare me and make me make terrible faces and talk nervously to the waxer like what what are those people called anyway so I'm actually going to use this product now I'm going to go look at my mirror and put this on top of my mustache and you can actually do the process with me. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this so I do have kind of a stash but I like to point it. Oh, it's pink! You probably can't see very well. But it's a very light pink anyway. So I'm going to put it put it on. Okay, so it's on my face as you can see and um, I put it on a little sloppy. I don't think it has to be perfect. Sorry I'm favoring like this side of the camera, but that's because the light, I, I set my laptop on top of a chair and if I'm in the middle, it blocks the lamp that I have. So I'm kind of staying in the light, but I'll read the directions. Oops. Anyway, you're supposed to um, remove all makeup, my bad. Spread a thick to even layer to cover hair. Do not rub in. Wash your hands immediately after application. Leave the cream on for five minutes. I feel like a hypocrite because I was like, oh, read the directions, read the directions. But really, read the directions because for the Sally Hansen cream, I know you're not supposed to have washed your face within. You have to have a two-hour buffer between washing your face, like, both ways. Um, so if with the Sally Hansen, well, we're not on that product, but this one just requires that you move all makeup. Leave the cream on for five minutes. Um, but then after the five minutes are up, you kind of test a little piece, and if the hair isn't coming off, then you can leave it on for a few minutes longer, but do not exceed ten minutes. And to remove the cream, gently wipe off the cream and hair with a damp washcloth. Do not rub in. Once all hair has been removed, rinse skin thoroughly and pat dry. So I kind of disobeyed the rule of not having your makeup or having your makeup removed. But right now I am about to go get a little bit of water and a. I don't have washcloths because I use. Lutha, Lufas, but I do have a paper towel, so I'm going to go get a small cup of water, and then I will be back. Okay, so I have my small cup of water, and then I guess I'm supposed to rinse thoroughly. But what does that mean? They didn't imply with soap or, oh, that was a little vague. Let me look at the directions again. Rinse skin thoroughly with lukewarm water. So it looks like I'll be running to the bathroom since I'm gonna if I'm gonna talk about follow directions, follow directions, I should probably follow directions. Okay, so now I'm just chilling like a villain. For realin, because I got a stillin. That was supposed to represent mustache. A stillin. A Stalin? I think Stalin had a mustache. <sighs> Don't listen to me. I still have a few minutes, so... How's it going? Oh, I should have curled the tips up. <laughs> but I did it. Anyway. Okay, so it's close. it is close enough, so I'm going to start removing this. 
and I'm going to turn to this camera and don't mind my hair looking like a hot mess. Hmm. I guess I could do this. There you go. Um, I look strange from this angle, but it's it could stay on a little longer if I wasn't impatient. <laughs> so, but it's up to you when you're removing your own hair. When you want to remove it, just don't exceed the 10 minutes. That's what the directions say. It says don't rub it in, but I don't know how else to get this off. Except for rubbing on top of it. Or remove it. Well, I guess I could say I'm not rubbing, I'm wiping. Like over in the corner and still that. But, okay, ultimately, I guess now we could do a before and after, and you will probably really see a shading difference. Like a shadow looks removed from my upper lip. So, Let's do a test of that, and I'll go back and stream some footage, so I'll be like, blah, 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 and I'll like I'm talking, and do a before and after. So, oops, so do you see a shadow difference? Maybe, maybe not, but I'm going to go rinse my face off, and that is my Sally Hansen, or no, Nair Hair Removal Moisturizing Face Cream. Alright, bye! <laughs>